There's nothing more I enjoy than quick and seasonal desserts. And for this recipe, I'm gonna show you how to do amaretti baked peaches. You can do this with apricots or pears, but peaches are in season now. And what you're looking for, before I prepare the peach, we'll do the actual kind of like filling. You're looking for it to be really nice and ripe. So that's perfect, so it is. So if you get peaches and they're a little bit hard, don't panic. Don't keep them in the fridge, fridge behind me. Uh, keep them, you know, at room temperature for a day or two and they will ripen. So before I do that, I'm gonna show you the filling. We are gonna separate one egg and we're gonna use one egg yolk. Okay, so you can keep the egg whites. And you can make, if you want to like, you know, a pavlova or whatever you want to, just freeze them if you want to, the freeze perfectly. We're using these amaretti biscuits, which are really, really lovely over some, um, you might have seen from one of my chocolate mousse recipes where I use them. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna kinda of crunch them down a little bit or break them down a little bit. So I'm just gonna open this. And even if you have some nice vanilla ice cream, you could, um, you could use some of these sprinkled over it because they give great texture. So they do, they really do. So I'm gonna just get the rolling pin. That should be more than enough. Sure, I'm only just doing one portion. And they keep well. That's the beautiful thing about it too. And they're lovely even with like a little espresso or a coffee as a little treat. So I'm just going to literally take out the air. Using my rolling pin. <laughs> We're gonna smash this here. It's a good de-stressor. We're going to make fine breadcrumbs now you can put this into the food processor you can crumble it by hands but what you're doing is the um, plastic bag is kind of protecting and, and saving a mess so it is so before i empty that into the bowl we're going to put some lime zest in here and we're going to put a little bit of lime juice also so you can use lemon i have lemon there it doesn't matter you know, lemon works really well, whatever you uh, prefer, whatever you want. Uh, okay, we're gonna sweeten it with some of the Simply Better, and this is organic Canadian maple syrup. Lovely over pancakes, really, really nice. So roughly about a spoonful of that. And then some vanilla extract. So vanilla extract is more natural than essence. So we get our vanilla extract and our vanilla pods from a company in London called Vanilla Bazaar. So in the restaurant, like we've been buying vanilla of this lady, she's um, based in London for over 20 years and, and her product is excellent. So I'm just gonna use the juice of half a lime in here. So just half the lime, just using the little juicer. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna open the bag and then we're just gonna empty all of this in here. So everything goes into the bowl there. You're going to mix this all together so you can have this done ahead if you want to you know because it's a simple quick dessert but you can have your egg yolk separated you can have your lime and the juice and all that done so that's our mixture there you can see the little bit of uh, lime zest which is there a little touch of vanilla which works beautiful and remember you can use lemon in this too you've sweetened it with some nice maple syrup uh, you could use honey we I, I think maple syrup is a nicer flavor for this and now we're going to work on our peach so i'm just going to do one portion so usually it's one peach per person so just open this very gently so these are really lovely and ripe so see how ripe they are they're just full of juice they're just gorgeous as they are okay we are going to get a little um oven proof dish with some parchment paper so you know me in parchment paper nothing sticks saves in the wash up so i'm just going to place that there and then this is the fiddly part here just using a small knife just taking the stone out and then i'm going to use a teaspoon if you need it might just come out so these are absolutely gorgeous so remember i'm using peaches i really do like peaches uh, you could use apricots and these are really gorgeous and ripe so it's just perfect for this time of year so you can have this all ready so say maybe you're having maybe you know guests or something like that or you want this for a nice simple evening or dinner or sunday lunch you could have this prepared ahead like i've done here keep it in the fridge and then just pop it into the oven so i already have one done it takes about 10 to 12 minutes at a temperature of 180 degrees and that's celsius so just to recap one egg yolk a little bit of lime zest and juice, you can use lemon. Vanilla extract, we're using the lovely Simply Better Amaretti, kind of like little cookies. And then we use, we sweetened it with that nice um, maple syrup. So that needs to go into the oven. I already have one done, I'm just gonna get my tea towel here. 
So the oven, have it preheated, and this is what they look like. These are hot. So I'm gonna pop that in there. Now, there is a chance if, depending on the ripeness of these, that you can over, um, you can overcook these for sure. So this is what they look like, sorry. I'll just show you here, whoops, Daisy. So they're perfectly soft, still holding their shape. You've cooked the egg yolk, you've kind of crunched up the biscuits, you've got that lovely kind of caramelization on top. And what we're gonna do then is just a very, very simple little syrup. So for the syrup, we're gonna use some of the maple syrup. We're gonna use a little bit of the vanilla extract. Okay, this is just, this isn't, they're perfect with ice cream on their own, but this is just a little extra I want to show you. Now, I have some uh, lime, um, the other half of the lime, but what I want to show you, I don't want to confuse you. We're gonna serve this with some creme fraiche. So I'm gonna grate the other half in here, and then I'm gonna put the juice in here. So it's not, it's kind of like sweet and sour. So just with the creme fraiche into a bowl. And this is a really nice one, and it's made in Gaul, in Donegal, excuse me. So Conway, so fair play to them, yeah. It's great to be using Irish producers. A little bit of vanilla extract, and then some lime zest, and you can do this with lemon too. Uh, I'm using creme fraiche, you can use mascarpone cheese, you can use some sour cream, whatever you want. So again, the technique, putting the, the little zester here onto the bowl. So that's taking the pressure, not your wrist. That's really important. So this is my uh, zester that I'm using. One of my, for me, my kitchen essentials, good knives, a good chopping board, you know, all will start with good quality ingredients, but good quality cookware and utensils. The other half of the line goes in here. And then I'll just show it to you now. Squeeze that in, just get a clean spoon. And we're just making just a really, really quick, I'll show it to you, I know it's in a dark saucepan, so I'll just hold it up like that. So I'm just gonna let that just cook for another minute and that will just kind of like boil down, reduce. Um, now that's a little bit extra. So we're gonna mix this all together. So what have we got in here? Vanilla extract, the lime zest. And the vanilla extract will slightly color this. And you can serve this with ice cream. I love the sensation of the warm dessert, the lovely creme fraiche, so you have lovely freshness, and that's what you want in a dessert. And you know me and my sweet tooth. Okay, we're gonna get our lovely peaches. That's ready, I'm gonna switch that off. So I just wanna be careful. This is still very, very hot. Us chefs have uh, asbestos hands, we're told. So we just place this onto the plate. Perfect, so they've kept their shape. You have that lovely kind of crunch, if you can see there and it's set. And what makes it set, everyone, is the egg yolk. It holds it all together. Uh, okay, uh, I have a little jug of some boiling water, and I'm just gonna do what we call, just kind of like a little quenelle of the creme fraiche, just like a little leg shape. Just using your warm spoon, this is the way we do it. Then a tiny little bit of mint, Probably a little bit old fashioned, but I think mint is lovely and fresh and that. And then what I'll do is I'll just take that spoon is hot. We're gonna drizzle this then. Our lovely syrup, or you can use that, see that syrup on the dish that you've baked it. So that has got to be the quickest, easiest dessert. You can serve that with a little bit of whipped cream, double cream if you want to. And you can see that lovely golden, see that lovely color. Okay, and there we go. That's our amaretti baked peaches. The key is really good ripe peaches, those lovely amaretti um, biscuits, and then using the vanilla and also some maple syrup. The creme fraiche, whipped cream, you can use mascarpone cheese or ice cream, you know me, I probably use all, all, all of the above, but try this dessert, it's beautiful, it's seasonal, and I think it looks really, really elegant. So enjoy. And for any of my recipes, if you go on to our McNeil Facebook page, you'll get any of the Instagram videos that I'm doing. And listen, happy cooking and enjoy this. Thanks very much.